What is up my friends, it's Sea Saint here with another deep dive into the Paraverse. This week we'll take a look at Sequester. Let's get right to it. Sequester is a layer 1 proof of stake blockchain that aims to provide the opportunity for every parachain in the ecosystem to become carbon negative with only one single day of development time. How? With the goal to become a common good pair chain, Sequester is partnering with Bitgreen to leverage the unique shared security model of Polkadot, which allows for optional transaction fees on each individual pair chain. At the moment, these transaction fees are used by many pair chains to incentivize collators to build blocks and propose them to the relay chain, and a portion of these fees are also going to their treasuries, which notoriously have, um controversial uses or just continuing to build larger sums of money. At the time of writing, Polkadot and Kusama's combined treasury was worth about $250 million and still growing. Sequester's proposition for these transaction fees is to provide the tools for chains to convert some portion of these fees into quality carbon credits or even invest in legitimate sustainability projects. This makes becoming green easy for parachain projects and gives them flexibility on how they plan to do so whether in lump sums, recurring payments, or even embedding it into the runtime and transaction fee model. The idea is laid out well by Stanford grad Brendan Edelson, co-founder of Sequester, at this year's Polkadot Decoded. So what functionality does Sequester need to handle? First of all, it needs to help you calculate your transaction fees. In order to send a percentage of your transaction fees and convert them to carbon credits, you need to know how much was collected in carbon credits over a period of time. Secondly, we need to handle exchanging these funds into carbon credits. And finally, we need to retire the underlying asset that represents the carbon credit on chain. Behind me is a representation of what this will actually look like in the ecosystem. This is a two part functionality. The first will be a pallet that goes live on chains and that sums the transaction fees and sends them to a common good chain that aggregates these fees and then handles the swap with a DEX and retirement with a Bitgreen chain. This could feasibly be done directly through a pallet, but the downside of doing that is that if you have all of the chains initiating the swap from a pallet directly, what you're going to have happen is that over time, as the pallet gets upgraded and new functionality comes online, some of the chains are going to upgrade to the new version of the pallet, some of the chains are going to stay on the old version of the pallet, and you're going to end up with a net legacy network of support that you need to support from the DEX side that's going to be a nightmare. By funneling all of these transactions through a single chain, through the common good chain, it allows us to retain flexibility and upgradability moving forward. One of the most crucial partnerships is with Bitgreen, a DeFi-focused chain that curates carbon credits and aims to finance new sustainability projects through the forward contract market, which we did a deep dive on not too long ago. A partnership with Sequester will help drive more consistent value towards these projects just from transaction fees of the ecosystem at large. Okay, now that's pretty dope. Not only can the carbon footprint of pair chains be offset through credits established on chain, but on the flippity flop, innovative environmental projects can be funded by the transaction fees of DGENs through what Bitcoin calls the forward carbon market. If that's not Web3, then I don't really know what is. Listen in to Adam Carver, founder of Big Green, describe what a part of this forward carbon market may look like in his discussion with MakerDAO. The forward contract activates lending markets and finance markets in a way that carbon credits or tokenized existing carbon credits does not. So we can activate lending markets for land conservation, renewable energy. Most exciting here is creating lending markets for local communities and their micro economies, which really means jobs. So when these lands, if we can provide economic welfare and livelihood to the people who live on these lands, then they may not be compelled to slash and burn some area of the Amazon in order to grow soybeans, in order to feed livestock that will become like tacos in the US. That's the process that we're trying to assuage and protect against. For all you DGENs out there, the next time you buy poop, you could be funding a soybean farm that ends up being a taco you eat next week. I guess at that point, we'll all just be eating shit. I tried. All jokes aside, funding innovative environmental projects is paramount for a world that has turned its focus to initiatives like ESG, which while controversial, don't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon especially since members of governmental bodies and many normies are wrapped up in the trope that blockchain is bad for the environment. To this end, Sequester and Bitgreen are toiling away to introduce ESG tokens that will be in compliance with authorities such as the SEC, adding regulatory certainty to a carbon credit market that has some serious volatility in its own right. But remember, carbon credits are only a part of what these chains aim to do. And as the world wades into a treacherous war, energy is at a premium. Without taking into account the cost of our planet, the visceral economic pain from the use of carbon to fuel our lives is at an all-time high, as people around the world have experienced higher energy bills than they've ever seen, resulting in countries capping energy bills of businesses and households this winter. Will sequester solve our environmental issues? Who really knows? 
but with a Web3 grant in the bag, jumping into the Substrate Builders program, securing partnerships with multiple prominent parachains already, and three Stanford grads, they may just have a chance. Only possible in the Paraverse, Sequester is enabled by a common good chains, XCM, Substrate, and shared security, and they look to make going green a piece of cake for blockchains, or maybe a piece of kale. Yeah. You tell me in the comments below, and be sure to listen in to Bill's AMA with the team this past week. Have a great night, everybody.